up what nerdigans this is the one only packer girl 89 today's anime nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for diamond no ace act 2 episode 5 title joining so um where we're starting off adaptation wise is just basically uh before the opening song we're getting um sawamora's uh inner monologue or flash reflection about koshin and oh my freaking god it's as beautiful as i remember it uh from last week which for those of you that don't remember is uh, the end of um chapter nine's adaptation of the manga and it's just so goddamn freaking amazing oh i'm so so happy that i get to see this beautiful art right after seeing such horrible art and animation of black clover i'm not gonna lie so um so after the opening uh, song, we're starting off with Chapter 10's adaptation of the manga. So without further ado, let's get to it. I have to say this right now. It's just so cool that the text, even the um, the text screen or the phone screen with the text messages matches like freaking perfectly. Even the avatar matches perfectly. It's so awesome. But the other thing I love is that um, Sawmora's text messages are actually be like we're being narrated by him it's just so awesome oh my freaking god okay so this has just been goddamn perfect so far and i have to talk about the five minute 37 second mark because this is right before uh kominato i think this is before kominato cuts his fangs off here is just so nice and something that i've noticed throughout this episode and it's very very nice is we don't have bright white backgrounds oh it's so nice oh my god thank god damn god madhouse why does it why doesn't coach have a pattern tie on why is it plain blue <laughs> you know i don't have you know how good a, 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 this manga to anime adaptation is when i'm only six minutes and 32 seconds in and the only thing i have really to complain about is like one of the articles of clothing not being patterned that's so great i oh god this is still so far best manga to anime adaptation so far this season like nothing compares to this one okay um for Sawamura. The 7 minute 25 second mark, I would want to say, I kind of feel like his mouth could be open just a teeny bit more, mainly the lower jaw. Um, the upper part of his uh, Sawamore's mouth is perfect. Just the lower jaw could be open just a teeny bit more, but it definitely looks a lot better. Well, last week it was perfect, but like when we saw Sawamore, um uh, yell the first time at the beginning of the season, it like compared to that, it's so much better. Let's talk about that Farai aura. Let's talk about that Farai uh, aura at the 7 minute 58 second mark. It is goddamn perfect. Soundtrack's kicking ass as usual. Um, but uh, I gotta mention this because I know Madhouse is trying to match the background, but the the white that's in this blue background is not big enough. <laughs> It's not if you're trying to match the background perfectly. I'm telling you, like, this is such a perfect rocket to anime adaptation. And, like, it's unbelievable. Like, even the landscape, everything, like, looks so freaking perfect. It's scary. I love that they're, I love that Madhouse is consistently keeping up the pariah aura, just like in the manga. It is great. So, at the 9 minute 48 second mark, we finished chapter 10. We're going into chapter 11. It's adaptation right now. We're going to see. We're going to see my boy coming out of without the bangs in front of his face. We're going to see my man's eyes. I'm so excited. Like my 9 minute 54 second mark is chapter. It's definitely the start of chapter 11. It's adaptation of the manga. I love this background. It's just amazing. 
seeing. <laughs> it's just so funny. And the facial expression is goddamn perfect. Oh my god, the background at the 10 minute 28 second mark is even better. Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't care if this translation is wrong. I fucking love it. <laughs> He's breaking bad. Oh my god. changing that you get a pass for changing because the line in the manga is why he's got wild haruchi's got completely wild i fucking i fucking like writing like when you shorten it or whatnot it actually works and when it actually works that's madhouse writers I fucking love you this is great oh my god the facial expression for comeback haruji like dude i gotta give props to sawamora say say you he is just goddamn amazing this man commits the 11 minute nine second mark this is when the white background works i kind of wish it i kind of wish they would have what that madhouse would have went with the like a more demonic looking one but it, it, this actually kind of works. I like the, I do like the contrast going on. And God damn it, Haruchi's <laughs> got as gay like he's supposed to be. <laughs> it's his older brother. It's the mighty coming out of Jade. <laughs> I love the 11 minute 28 second mark. I love the background. <laughs> Dude, Haruchi does look like his brother. It's so scary. It really is, and the, and the, co the comedy tracker is just amazing, oh my god. I'm gonna die by the end of this episode, I know it. <laughs> Does it just ignore the idiot? I knew the I knew him, the Haruchi, I knew his god, I fucking love this manga so goddamn much. Oh, so now, so we're getting, the, oh my god, I just totally remembered, we're getting the first years this episode, finally. Even though we, we've been seeing Okamura and Yui and them, but finally we can see my boy Okamura in action, and I'm very, very excited, because I love how Okamura reacts, or not reacts, um, uh, I love how, uh, Okamura interacts with, uh, Sawamura. <laughs> it's just so goddamn funny. <laughs> the 11 and 50 second mark, you see for us sleeping on <laughs> Sawamura. <laughs> 12 minute, 13 second mark. This background is just goddamn amazing. I love it so fucking much. I'm telling you, I, I swear, I think I, I'm, I think I'm using my tweeting powers for good because we're getting some improvements up in here. Fucking Mariah's still sleeping. 12 minute, 21 second mark. I love this background too. It's just, it's so funny. I love it. I like, I love the contrast, especially um, in compared to Star Wars background, which was like all purple and like all pissy and shit. I love it. It's just great. Oh, look at Star Wars for Tech Mariah. This is like the 12 minute 49 second mark. But God damn it, these backgrounds are just so fucking awesome. They're so interesting too. Like, I know 
a lot of a lot of you guys should be like, this looks sloppy. It looks like some something that I could pr just scribble off. But that's like the beauty of it. Because it's they're so simplistic and shit. I love it because that's how Salvor is. He's so simplistic. This and simple minded. It just so it just works. <laughs> Look, he's hibernating. Look at this face like he's dreaming of polar bears. Like he's dreaming of polar bears is actually filler writing. <laughs> I fucking love it. That house, this is great. And then it goes and continues. He must not be disturbed. Off with you. <laughs> this is some amazing filler writing right now. 13 minute, 29 second mark. There's my man. There's my man. No, oh, come on. Yes, this first year time. First year time. I'm so excited. My man, Okamura, looking fast as fuck at the 14 minute, 18 second mark. I love how he's like, he, like you, he's asking him this question, and Okamura's just like, what the fuck should I tell you? It's not your goddamn business. So at the 15 minute, uh, 32 second mark, <clears throat> we finish uh, chapter 11's adaptation of the manga, and now we're going into chapter 12's adaptation um, of uh, the manga. <laughs> Oh God! So, um, first of all, the background, the 17 minute, 29 second mark, is just amazing. But poor, poor Fumi! Oh my God! He learned that he's so good, oh, good at dealing with practical jokes. Oh God! The 17 minute, 31 second mark. Oh my God! I was waiting to see our shit animated. Oh my God! We're watching at the 17 minute 40 second mark is just so goddamn perfect. <laughs> oh my god. Man, that house is really utilizing the backgrounds this week. I'm telling you, I had some influence on this shit. Because I said they need to start like going all out and util and start utilizing the backgrounds and not to be, uh, blind me with whiteness all the goddamn time. There's my man. I've been waiting for this. The 19 minute, 15 second mark. There's my man. There's my man. There's Okamura. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm just happy to see him. And I gotta say, we're continuing with this. Um, because we haven't seen, the contrasting this week is so much better. Holy shit. Because remember last week, the contrasting was just was so all over the place and some of and a good chunk of the time the uh contrasting was just was so blinding it was it was bad like there was times where you couldn't see the players and like you were blinded by the bright white uh that um uh madhouse was using but oh my god this week is so much better oh thank god the 19 uh, minute 56 second mark and this is when my man is saying i saw him glaring at me I love that, like, the, the entire frame is basically darkened, and it's just, um, the only characters that are lightened, or, you know what I mean, are just Miyuki and Okamura. I love it. I love that. It's great. <laughs> Miyuki's just like, oh, this motherfucker's going with me. The rest of my time here is going to be a whole lot of fun. Oh, God. Miyuki, what are you going to do? No, but no, you keep not convert get along, but, oh, God, I forgot about this first part. Oh, gosh. I wish, okay, at the 20 minute, like, 6, 7 second mark, I really, I kind of wish the background was more comedic. I don't know why that has just to go all white here, but, oh, my God. <laughs> Yuki's getting strangled. It's like, what the fuck, dude? Uh, okay, 20 minute, 34, 35 second mark. Seriously, I really wish you got this. Stop doing the bright white. Uh, when you know when uh, like you could have done like some like burning red and uh, like red or something for the ambition, or like uh, just change. Just stop. I know you're trying to match the manga backgrounds, and I hate that I'm saying this. I have to say this every week, but come on, you're doing it like throughout the episode. Just don't do it. Have, just don't do it just for the comedic stuff. Like give us like some good shit here. Like give us some red. Give us some like orange or something we see at the 20 minute three second mark there's that nice blue background where is that for the rest of the where's that kind of shit for the players <laughs> that's not fair so where we're ending is of course with um 
chapter uh, 12's adaptation of uh, the manga. And I gotta get props because we got like three chapters adapted this week and it worked. It was really, really good. And there was, for the, there was like nothing skipped. And we even got a little bit of extra content to boot. And um, I really, I really enjoyed this episode for the most part. It was good. The soundtrack, of course, was perfect. The voice acting, perfect. Um, it's just, again, it just, uh, it, for me, the th only thing that's really holding this anime back, and it's not like the character models or anything like that. It's not like, it's not like that. What I really, and this is the one thing that I got to, I can't believe I'm giving props to Studio Periop for something, but I got to in this situation, is, um, is what Studio Period does is they actually kind of go for it a little bit more with the art style. And I kind of wish um, Madhouse was going for it a little bit more. And yeah, I know I understand right now. Like they, they kind of did. I'm not going to lie. They did a little bit more with the backgrounds and I kind of am hoping they're going to do a little bit more. It's just like this, uh, the contrasting, I will say, was definitely better this week. But um like when we have like the split screens of you know the players and we're just getting all bright this bright white background i'm just like really you're only gonna do that you're not gonna do something else it's starting to get boring at least for me i kind of wish they would do more with this come on madhouse the animators have fun and i don't know if it has something to do with like the because i i've been hearing there's a really bad um uh, the work environment's really bad. If that if that's having an effect on you know the um, if, uh, if that's preventing some of the animators from really going for it, that really goddamn sucks. But I just oh I just really wish they would go for it just a little bit more with the art style. Um, especially like in at least the um, uh, in the non comedic backgrounds. The non comedic backgrounds need more. I, I, we need better. We, you can't do these blank. You can't do white screens, uh, white back, plain white, or bright white backgrounds. Uh, but I will say this again: the contrasting was better. But I really, really would love a little bit more from them. But other than that, like this episode was great. Um, I'm very curious what you guys thought. I like this is a. Uh, Everything is just so great. I love it. I love this episode so goddamn. I love the series so goddamn much. Um, anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigans Inc. If you love what I'm doing and want to help keep this channel alive so I can keep bringing you more Diamond OA Sock 2 content, there's a few ways you could do that. You could donate to my PayPal, Patreon, GoFundMe, purchase something off my Amazon wish list. All that's in the description box below. Also, um, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, friend me on PlayStation Network. All that's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye.